Good evening. Welcome back to Frugal Outdoors with myself, Dylan. And we're out fishing. It's been a while. So sorry, yeah, I've missed an upload or two, but I don't know, I just haven't been massively feeling it. And I've been under the weather, to be honest. I've had a cold. Uh, I haven't done a test, so it could well be uh, the other thing, but I'm um, fingers crossed it's not. I mean, everybody at work's come down with it. But we're out tonight. We're gonna give it a go, and I've gone for an easy one. I really wanted to fish the back of the island. And I went to have a look, to be honest, it's half four now. I went straight from work, straight down there, had a look. And uh, yeah, it's unfishable really. The, it's massively uh, southwesterly. It's still gusting like 20, 25, but because we've had all these storms, the swell is massively up. So it's just unfishable. So we're fishing the Solent, which isn't where I wanted to fish. And it's Norton Wall. Nice and simple, nice and easy. I've just been to Fort Victoria, I did have a look. It is fishable. But you know what, I don't really fancy losing rigs today. I've got a couple of new rigs I wanted to try out. They're nothing fancy, they're nothing special. Just wanted to give it a go. I've got a comp on Saturday, uh, which will be out. So it's the 7th today, Tuesday the 7th. Uh, this will be out on Friday. And so in theory, I've got a comp tomorrow night, but actually it's on Saturday, which is in about five days. So I wanted to have a little refresh really, see if I can remember how to fish. But I'm gonna get it set up. Put some music on, show you a little bit of footage, real time footage of how to get down to Norton Wall from the van, which takes about 20 seconds, if that. So it's super easy access. If you struggle with access, it's really easy. It's not exactly wheelchair access because it is a little bit of a, um, you know, cobble track or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's super easy to get to, super comfortable fishing. As you can see, I'm actually going to be on this path. My gear is around there somewhere. I'm literally going to plonk myself there. I'm out of the wind, get some nice shelter, bang out of bait, see what we can get. Just fishing. I'm not targeting anything at all tonight. I'm just fishing. But let's get set up and then I'll bring you back, show you the bait, show you the rigs. And yeah, let's see if we can go and get ourselves a fish. Cheers. So, <laughs> bait for this evening is, well, we've got squid, I've got a pack and a half of squid, I had a part bag, but I've grabbed a nice fresh bag as well. I've got a couple of mackerel, and I've got a couple of wraps of black lug. I'm not gonna be fishing long tonight. I don't know when high tide is. I think it's around eight-ish. Uh, it's now half four. I'm hoping I can fish past high, but if I can't, then I'm not too fussed. I just wanted to get out, really. So it could be quite a short session, three and a half, four hours. But everything I've got is still frozen solid. So I'm just trying to get a couple of black lug out of a, out of a wrap so I can defrost them. I'm gonna stick that on a two hook flapper, tipped off with squid. You never know, there might still be a bream around. It's the beginning of November, so it's a bit of a long shot. It'd be nice if there was. But we'll chuck that out, tip with squid on a size one. I'll show you the rigs in a minute. So I'll just I'll get them baited before I show you, and then uh, yeah, I think I've got a cuttlefish and a couple of local squid, but they're quite small. So I'm going to fish one rod, big baits, one rod, 
smaller bait so I'm using four hooks all night probably I'm going to basically fish comp match style our match rules which is two rods four hooks panel counts as one so yeah we're gonna give it a go I'm feeling a little bit a little bit better than I was when I first came out I'm not gonna lie I've been struggling to get my mojo together and, and struggling to get excited about getting out fishing which is not like me at all uh, but we're out, we're going to give it a go and I'm, I can feel my energy levels already getting up because I'm getting the bait ready and it's starting to defrost so I'm getting excited. Let's get this baited up, I'll show you the rigs and then we'll whack them out, sit back and hopefully we can get a fish or two. Like I say, no target but I'm expecting it to possibly pout. Again, I still haven't heard of any whiting so whiting would be great. Just some fish really, anything in size I'll be chuffed with. A couple of pounds to make some fish cakes, a bream would be nice, but yeah, who knows? Hopefully, we can get something. So, I'm just baiting up the uh, that black lug again. I'm just putting it on a needle, folded it in half. So, I've threaded half of it on the needle, then folded it in half, and then bound it up so that when I put this on the hook, it's basically threaded up like a normal worm but it will stay that shape. It's not gonna just balloon when it hits the water or when you're reeling it in. So often you use a worm, especially frozen blacks, and they just turn into a big saggy, baggy mess. But this way, it will stay like it's shaped like a worm. It will cast better and it will look more presentable on the hook. So when a fish comes along, it's gonna go, wow. Now that is a black lug bait I wanna eat. And then quickly, this is the other bait. It's the only stuff that's actually semi-defrosted at the moment. So it's the remainder, I've tipped those two hooks off with some squid, two little strips. So this is the remainder of that squid. As you see, it's a pretty decent sized one. And that's got two black lug wrapped to the side of it. It's the first two baits, I can get them in and then I can sort hopefully some mackerel out, make some little sausages mackerel and squid wraps and stuff like that but at least this gets me fishing there we go we're done right so ever so quick Daiwa tournament pro surf 13.6 Daiwa air surf also 13.6 they both cast four to eight ounce air surf is slightly tippier so that's going to be carrying my lighter baits today this is going to be with my heavier rod uh, second time using these reels, you can see these my spools are a bit dirty, but they're older spools compared to the actual reels. Uh, they are the Power Aeros uh, Shimano's. Really excited about them. Like I said, they're super light. Each rod, including the reel, is just over a kilo, about 60 grams over a kilo. So they're super, super light. And there we go. On this side, I've got a, I think, I can't even remember what it's called. I've used it, I tried using it once before and uh, I didn't have these little bits of silicone tubing to help stand it off so it's getting a bit tangled so basically that's on a pulley that's a, that's a dropper that will drop down and then it's got another snood there which is on a pulley rig uh, yeah I don't know I can't remember what it's called but this is what I wanted to give a go anyway so that one when it hits the water that will slide down that'll be right on the deck like I say that will have mackerel and squid wraps on it predominantly trying to get a ray or an eel or dogfish something like that just a little strip of squid on that one never know might pick up a bream this side again really short snoods this is essentially my bream rig uh, that's got size 10 semicircle but they're quite small I really like them actually there's a nice hook black lug tip of squid two of those a couple of glowy beads six ounce grippers on both let's get them out Well, there we go. We are fishing, finally. Yeah, it's been a while, man. Two, two weeks, over two weeks. Yeah, well over two weeks, in fact. But there's definitely a chance of getting to something tonight. I imagine there might possibly still be some hounds around. I've got my ratchet set just in case, or the clutch, I know the drag, you know, on the front. But there's definitely a chance of a possible hound. Maybe a chance of a late bream dogfish 
ray, whiting, pouting. We'll see, they've been in the water for about three minutes. Been mucking around trying to get some lighting sorted out, try and make things a little bit more viewer friendly. And like I so said, I'm probably gonna be fishing for maybe three, three and a half, maybe four hours tonight. Hopefully we can winkle something out in that time. It's got to be on, isn't it? Well, 10 minutes, 20 minutes in, blanks out of the way with the smallest conger eel. Don't reckon it was that the first time though, because the first time it went right over. There we go, we got a fish. <laughs> Let's chuck it back in. Hopefully we can get something better. Well, we're not blanking anyway, so that's something. It wasn't hooked, whatever it was. Pretty big bat, man. Batman. Pretty big bat. Yeah, hopefully, I'd say, if we're pulling out stuff like that. Thing is, if that was in my comp, I'd have weighed in. I've got two, two comps left this year. I'd say one of them being Saturday and one of them's the following month. But I have fished hard, man, this year. I think that's what it is. I'm, I've been fishing really hard and I've put myself under quite a lot of pressure to try and get out to make videos as well. Uh, so you end up kind of, not losing the love for the fishing, but the videos overtake the fishing and it kind of should be the other way around. I, don't get me wrong, I'm still enjoying my fishing, just not as much as I maybe used to. But I'm hoping, having a couple of weeks off like I've just had, get out, get a couple of fish tonight, get those rod tips moving, get my mojo back, hit that comp on Saturday, hopefully I can do well. And then we're back on, back in the game. So I'm fishing with um, fishing with my braid again tonight. Because, well, one, I couldn't be bothered to change my spools. But I'll, I'll be honest, I mean, it's low diameter. I think it's 0.28 or something, which isn't super low. I understand that. I know lots of people use really low diameter lines, really low diameter braid. But I get on all right with it. It's not the most expensive one, it's, it's not the cheapest one, it's a mid-range, it's not even got a, it's not a branded one. I think many of the same brands produce the same one, it's just got a different sticker on it. And I think it's like 0.28 for £50, whereas I can use £16 line, which is still 0.3 something, which will be mono. And I can't see the point in using a lower strength line when I'm going to be about the same diameter anyway. So that's where I'm at. I fish pretty much everywhere now 50 pound and I've got a 60 pound leader on there but I'm gonna get I'm starting to get excited now I am gonna get another rig baited up I think I'm gonna bait up a pulley actually and just whack that out there use a rig that's normally never really fails everyone uses pulley rigs I don't know why I always try changing stuff up so I'm just gonna stick a pulley on Stick a big mackerel and squid bait and just whack it out there. Oh, we've got some in here. There we go. Little dogfish. That's alright. We're fishing. <laughs> so, two fish. Two fish, two species. Nice little dogfish, I don't know. I don't know how big it is. I don't, I don't really care how big it is. I'm going to chuck it straight back in now. But yeah, that is really nice to see. Really lively one on the way in, actually. It was spinning and splashing and all sorts. But yeah, cool, man. There we go, so I'll just show you that rig quickly. 
that I had just had that dogfish on. Let's say it's super, super simple. So I'm using as main main line now, uh, and some of my hooks news, Rovex times 10. It's quite cheap, 100 meters for maybe eight and a half quid, 10 quid, something like that. So you get a lot for your money. Again, look, it's really short snood. You can see how short that snood is. It's maybe like six or seven inches. And then on that, it's got a size 1.0 semicircle. Now it's quite a small hook. I would say it is more like a size one, maybe a size two. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, and that was what it, that hook was baited up with. Half uh, a whole lug wrapped up and half a squid head. So I'm just gonna freshen this one up now with a lug again, I guess, why not? And uh, yeah, get this back out. And start baiting some spare rigs because I haven't baited a spare rig yet. Look at these puppies! Two huge whiting! Look at that! It's a donkey! That one, I think, is marginally bigger. There we go, that's on that pulley dropper. I think somebody told me it was a doggy, they called it a doggy rig because it's good for catching dogs. Look at the size of those puppies! Buzzing! That was one of the top things on my list I wanted to catch tonight, especially that size. Look at them. They're not pin whiting, are they? Absolutely banging. Right, let's get the bait out. Couple more of those puppies. Well buzzing. Oh man, I'm absolutely stoked with that. Oh, I'm gonna freshen up the one on the left as well. I mean, <laughs> I've just chucked the same baits out. Those baits are in the water for about three or four minutes when I had those bites. So I have just chucked it straight back out because they were pretty decent. They were still in good nick. I am going to bring the left one in, change that, whack a fresh one out. It's really nice. I mean, whiting is a great eating fish. And to be honest, I haven't heard of any others coming in on the island. They must have been. I'm sure other people have caught them, but... It's just nice catching something you can take home to eat. I know people moan about whiting. I guess the smaller ones, but even then you can still use them for bait. I'd rather be catching something than nothing. I mean, I can't see the point. For me, personally, anyway, going out five times, catching nothing at all, just so that I hope you can catch a double figure ray at some point. I'd much rather go out and catch whiting every time on those five times using smaller hooks, smaller baits. But yeah, let's change that one up. Damn it, I think I just lost a conga then. Massive slat line, reeled into it, it was on there and it was punching. Hook's gone. <laughs> I've only got 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon on that dropper thing. Uh, yeah, right, bait's out. No more 30 pound, 60 pound minimum now. 
Yeah, gutted about that. I have no idea what that could have been. I'm assuming it was a conga. But I knew, even when I made those rigs, I thought, ah, oh, maybe they're a bit light. I thought, oh, 30 pound fluorocarbon. Don't even know what it's to target. And I mean, so many people would like 80 pound. That's all I use, 80 pound for snoots. 60 pound as a bare minimum. There's definitely some tide running out there now. But yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. 30 pound unless maybe I'm fishing for bream or the whiting stuff like that small species little scratching rig I'm doing away with it I'm going to get rid of it but yeah because I lost something pretty decent then <laughs> I was hoping that was another white here. It's pulling back. It's only a dogfish. It's really small as well. Much smaller than the last one, anyway. I mean, it's not a tiny one, but it's much smaller. So, where are we on? I mean, I'll check in a minute, see how long we've been fishing. But two dogfish, two whiting, and a congo, and I've lost something decent. So, all in all, so far, it's been pretty busy, which is nice. <laughs> reeling in and it and it stops me like it was pulling the rod forward but yeah got it man oh I'll keep chucking them out yeah I'm not gonna lie I'm I am gutted I've missed that fish but I mean it's been busy other than that I mean to be honest it's been busy all night I've landed like five fish and I reckon I've missed another two at, at least two maybe three but yeah, gutted about that one that was punching. Uh, so I'm just getting another bait ready. Uh, so it's a decent piece of mackerel, as you can see there. Nice bit of mackerel. Let's try and get that to focus on that. There we go. Nice piece of mackerel. And then I've got a slither of the um, cuttlefish up the side of it. So I've put that on my double prong bait, baiting needle, baiting tool, however you want to call it. And then I'm just binding it, binding it together like that and then that's gonna go on a pulley rig but yeah that tide is definitely moving about out there and there we go that is basically the other sort of food source we were looking for tonight which is big pelt it's not a massive one but it's a pretty decent one and I'll get a couple of fillets off that and that'll make some fish cakes as well happy days yeah man, let's get this back out. Yeah, not a bad session at all. Two hours fishing, maybe two and a half into it now. We've had four species. I've got three fish in the bucket to take. Would have loved to have seen what those other fish were that were punching. Like I say, one was decent, really decent. I would imagine it felt like a hound, but I mean, it's November. It's the beginning of November, 7th of November, but that's what it felt like. It felt like a hound. It just stopped me reeling, stopped the rod. Uh, that was, and that was on the cuttlefish head. 
So the other half of the cuttlefish head is out now. I've got a feeling I might have to bring that in. I think it's just out too much in the tide. It's still swinging. I've got a feeling there must be some weed on there as well because it's, it's hooping a little bit. Um, but then the other one, I'll just put that mackerel bait out. Again, almost ma my max distance. And that one's fishing okay, so definitely not bending over like the other one. So I think it's just the other one maybe just picked up some weed. Nice! Just got a double hookup. Bullos on one and a dogfish on the other, and it's definitely a bullos, I will show you. Right, there we go. There is Mr. Dogfish. You can see his nasal flaps there. Also, just the size of his head and his spots will keep him here. And look at this guy. I mean, he's very covered, but you can see straight away. Look at his nasal flaps, look at his teeth. Look at his spots. And just also, he looks like a brute. I mean, look, that is not a dogfish. <laughs> that is a dogfish. That is a bull hus. Awesome, man. There we go, man. I'm chuffed. Five species tonight. Five species and they've all been inside. Well, apart from the conga, but in the, if I was comp fishing, our comps, it's inside because any conga counts. But yeah, I guess that bullus must have been two, three pounds. I mean, it's a reasonably decent size. Big enough to know it was a bullus anyway, when that big head, they're so, they've got quite a big flat head. Uh, and almost, the sound is weird, but like no shoulders. They're just, big uh yeah man so i'm chuffed i've literally just got both baits back out i was just mid casting the second one and the left hand one was going that's just got the three hook flapper on we i need to get another big bait ready for that pulley and hopefully yeah we can get something else don't often get out. I mean, no, 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 nothing massive. There's no great big blonde rays. There's no big undulates or, you know, no big rays, full stop. No big congas. But we're into fish and it's busy and it's putting a smile on my face. So that's all that I really care about, to be honest. Yeah, another one. Let's say that. Wah, bloody hell. A bit smaller this one, but it's still a decent size. I mean, it's still well in, look, for a, for a white in, but the other one's much bigger. But unfortunately for this puppy, he's in the box. Yeah, I missed that one. But there's a last big bait, I think. Like I say, I've been, I've, I haven't even been fishing for three hours yet, but the fishing's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. And it's kind of quick while you're ahead, really. I think the tide's gonna turn at some point anyway. Like I say, it's, it's really easy fishing again now. So it's obviously getting close to the top of the tide, but there we go. That one's gonna go out on the next pulley. I'm going to start having a little tidy up, I think. 
That just came off. Ooh, massive slat line on there, reel in, <laughs> it came off. There's yeah, still fish biting. That was on the three hook flapper. It's only got size, I think it's got two O's, uh, octopus beak hooks. Basically, I bought a whole bunch of them cheap when I started to use them as my for my pulleys, my uh, my panel hook, uh, and I've kind of gone off them. It's the same old thing. I think everybody goes through stages of using different hooks for different things, and I've kind of gone off them. I thought, you know what? I'll just use them for two hook flappers and three hook flappers because they're not massive, and that's what I've been using tonight. Those and the one o circle uh, semi circles, and they've been banging the fish so but that was a cracker bite I'm gonna change the one on the right that hasn't done anything for about 20 minutes I've got a nice fresh that fresh squid and black lug wrap chuck that on the big bait Let's see what happens but yeah that was a beaut Oh my god. That was a really good fish again. It's only on my three hook flapper. And uh, I got it all the way in. And then it just flipped. I heard it splash. I don't know what it was, but it was punching. Oh man. I tell you what, I have definitely left some fish out there tonight. Do you know what, Norton Wall normally is not my first choice venue. <laughs> but tonight, I've landed loads of fish. All right, they're not being massive. Every big fish I've had, I haven't actually landed. But that was a good fish. Yeah, I don't know, don't know what to say. Two small hooks maybe. Every decent one I've had has been on the, on the flapper, I think. Apart from, oh no, that's not true. One of them was on the pulley and it absolutely nailed that head, uh, that cuttle head. But that was on the flapper for sure. But yeah, I'll have to get back down here again, won't I? That's all. I reckon they're hounds, that's all I can think. Because both times, I've had one bite, something bite me off, which must have been a conger. But the other times, it's just been thumping, thumping all the way in. And then it's come off real close. But that one, I heard the splash, I couldn't see, I didn't have my head torch on. But it was a good fish. There's two really nice fish I've, I've left out there for another day.
I was just thinking about packing up. Those rods have not moved for maybe 20, 25 minutes. And I thought, I'll do the sign off. And then, yeah, it just went. So I'll give it another five, 10 minutes. But gutted. Well, there we go. I've packed one rod away. I'm kind of leaving that one as long as I possibly can. I've recast it after missing that fish, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm gutted, man. I mean, I'm, I'm chuffed, obviously. I've caught some fish. I came out fishing. I haven't fished for a little while. I've lost my mojo a little bit, and uh, I've definitely got it back for tonight. <laughs> but I'm just gutted. I've left those fish out there. But they're out there for another time. I've had one bite me off. Two nice thumping fish came off on the way in. So go back, change up some rigs, change up some hooks, get some sharper hooks. Uh, but yeah, I've really enjoyed tonight. Like I say, it wasn't my first choice. I wanted to fish the back of the island. I went out there and it was absolutely howling and the surf was pretty big still. It was unfishable for me anyway. And uh, I went down to Fort Victoria, had a look. And I thought, oh, it's pretty breezy. I don't know, I wasn't really feeling it. After not fishing for a little while, I didn't want to go down there and lose a bunch of gear. Haven't lost anything here whatsoever. And I've had some fish. Got a cooler box with three decent sized white in, a pout in, I've had three dogfish, a bull hus, and a conger, a tiny strap conger, <laughs> and I've definitely left a couple of fish out there. But yeah, Norton Wall, man, that's where it's at. So I hope you enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed this session. And uh, yeah, and like I say, I hope you guys did too. Uh, until the next one, which will be very soon because I've got a comp on Saturday. And hopefully I can bag up a couple of white in then. Target species is a white in as well. So, uh, and we're fishing, we're not fishing here, we're fishing somewhere else. So, hopefully I can get a couple of fish. Until the next one, please take care, stay safe, and I will maybe see you out there. Cheers. Thank you.